Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to build a fish and bone mill farm for Minecraft Bedrock. Let's go. These are all the resources you will need for this farm. So first you're going to have to find yourself an ocean. These are fairly common, you've probably seen one around. You can't build this farm inside one of these warm oceans, the ones with the coral reef, unless you only want bones from this, because it won't spawn any cods or salmon, so it won't drop any edible fish. So, once you've found a suitable location, you're going to have to tower up some blocks. If you're on a realm, you'll only need to go up to a roughly Y is 120. However, if you are on pretty much any other world, you're going to have to tower up to Y 210. So now we're up here, we're going to need to build a square platform. You can build this anywhere up to 41 blocks wide, however for this I'm just going to be building it 15 blocks wide. This is because it will reduce the amount of items that are needed to build the farm. However, the bigger you build it, the more efficient it will be. So for this, build off 7 blocks off each side of this pillar that you have made. Now I'm going to connect them together and fill in to make a full square. It should be looking like this. Now in one corner underneath the platform we're going to place a double chest. You can replace this with whatever size storage system you want. Then break these two blocks and place a hopper like this and a hopper facing into the side of it like this. Now we're going to fill in this area with minecart rails. The way I would do this is start at the back here, place minecart rails the entire way to here and then loop them around like this. Then if they link up like this, break it and repeat the loop like this. If you've made this far 15 by 15, you'll notice the rail doesn't link at the end. So what would I recommend doing? I would just place a few blocks like this and continue the rail round like this. You'll just need to mark this side, maybe with a few blocks or something, just so you don't accidentally place the magma here when we place it in a moment. Now we're just going to place some powered rails. What I'd recommend doing is near the centre of each of these, break a block and replace it with a redstone block. And then place a powered rail on top of each. You can then also place another block of redstone over here, along with a powered rail. If we put on a minecart hopper, it should be enough to make it go round. So now we need to cover this area in magma blocks. Make sure they are directly above the rail, just one block above, like so. And we're going to cover over the entire 15 by 15 or however large you built it area. Once you've done that, it should be looking like this. So here what is happening is the magma will create a bubble elevator. This is going to pull the fish directly to the bottom. And then the hop magma will make sure the fish die, drop all their loot, and the hopper minecart will pick it up and bring it back to the chest. So now we need to build a two high wall surrounding the entirety of this magma. Like this. It should look like this. Now we're just going to cover over this with slabs. This isn't a necessary task, but it will stop any creepers, zombies, or anything like that spawning, which might get caught up and reduce rates. So, I'm just going to put a layer of slabs over the top. You could put on torches instead, however I like slabs because it completely stops anything from spawning. Like this. 
So now we need to fill in this area with water. Because placing each individual water bucket would take forever, there is actually a quicker way to do it. First place a bucket of water in the corner, place another one with a blocks gap in between it, another one with a blocks gap in between it, and keep going until you've completely filled in one side, like this. Then do the same on another side, like this. And then the entire layer should fill in. Repeat this for the next layer as well. The water should have all filled in like this, and you should have these sucking bubble elevators pulling downwards. So now I'd recommend adding a few hoppers coming into the back of these. This isn't necessary, but it will increase the efficiency of the farm because the hopper minecart will get clogged less. Make sure to place the rails back on top. These extra hoppers aren't necessary, however without them, a lot of the time the hopper minecart will become full, which will mean you won't get all your items going into the chest. So I would highly recommend adding this if you can afford the iron. If you can't, then it might just reduce the efficiency of the farm. So now, we're going to build the AFK platform for this farm. First, go to one corner, place a block like this, one block above the water, and count across eight blocks, so this would be one. And then count eight blocks into the center, again this would be one. Like this. Then remove all the blocks apart from the last center one. Then we need to turn this into a 20 block high pillar. The exact height isn't very important, but if you're building one this small then I'd recommend about 20 blocks, it's what works well for me. If you're building it 40 blocks wide then I would recommend going to 12 blocks higher. 12 blocks higher will work, however it sometimes reduces the efficiency of the farm if you've got a smaller one like this. So now that's the farm completely finished. Now I'm just going to do a 5 minute AFK session at this farm to show you guys what the rates are like. So it's been 5 minutes, let's see what the drops are. So we've managed to get just over 2 stacks of cod and about 45 bones. That means in a whole hour of AFK you would get about 24 stacks of cod and for bones you might get around 8 stacks. So that's roughly equivalent to about 25 stacks of bone meal every single hour of AFK. So that's how to build a fish and bone meal farm for Minecraft Birdrock. If you did like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. I'm always happy to help. If you have any ideas for future videos, again, put them down in the comments. I always love to hear them. So that's it for today. See you next time. Bye.